Hey, back with another tip. I've told you before, I'll say it again, I am not crafty. I'm a very good copier and Creative Memories does it for us. They not only put together these beautiful collections, then they tell us what cardstock matches, but then they give us directions or pictures on how to embellish better. They do it all. So I'm gonna show you today what I do so that my embellishment clusters are ready for pages. Let's go. Stick around till the end and I'll show you how I store my embellishments until I'm ready to put them on my scrapbook pages. Okay, so I could just share my screen, but honestly, this is easier. So you go to the website. Um, I'm gonna go to what's new, but you can go to any, actually I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm working with Showtime today. So I'm gonna type in Showtime, okay? In the search bar. You can type whatever collection you're using. Now, if you scroll down to where the bundle is, okay, if you see this, it says get a free, oops, downloadable direct de decorative ideas PDF exclusively when you buy this bundle, okay? So, you don't have to buy the bundle. Here's an insider tip. I mean, I would like for you to, but you don't have to. If you click on the item, after you add it to your cart, you can just click on the flyer here. You do not have to add it to your cart. That's a joke. But please buy the bundle. Okay, so here's it, here it is. Here is the entire PDF of how you should use your mats, how you should embellish. And now I'm going to show you how I do that, okay? Okay, so I've already done a few but we'll do a few more. So you see, if I have a sticker, I'll put it on some sticker backer that I've saved from a sticker sheet like this. So when I use all of these up, I'll just peel all the extra off, all this stuff, and that's what this is. So then I can use it for more stickers. Okay, so here, let's, let's pick a fun one. Every picture tells a story. So I just find those embellishments in my little kit here. Let's see, we need this one. And I'm sure I have that other one out. This one. Look how cute this is. So I'm just gonna stick these together and I might use pop dots on this guy. Foam squares, sorry, foam squares. but it'll be ready to go on a page. And I'm totally just copying what CM has already put together. So there's another one ready to go. Oh, except for now it's sticky. We'll put this back on there. There we go. Okay, so that's ready. Um, another thing that I love to do is the mats. <clears throat> Cause they give you a lot of mats, right? But sometimes I want to embellish them up. So look at this one, this one's fun. Let's see if I can find that in here. I don't think it's any of those. And I love them, look at how cute these are. So all they did to this one was add these people right there. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, you're a star. And what we're gonna do is add some more stars. And I think I've already used those stars on a page, so mine are gonna be a little different. Did you guys know what flocked means? I did not know what flocked means, so I'm going to show you up close, or try to. Flocked is this velvety stuff on these embellishments. Isn't that fun? What a cool texture to add to your <clears throat> scrapbooks. Okay, so I already used the gold and the red star. So I have a purple and a green star. So I'm just gonna tape this down. 
And then this mat is ready to go in a book. I want to foam square this guy. Told you, I'm just a good copier. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's do one more sticker so you guys can see what I do with that. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to find stickers. All those feathers. Let's do all these feathers. So what they did is they did this. Oh, this guy is behind there. I can't wait to use this collection on our Oscar retreat pages, any prom pages I have to do. Um, if you go to the movies, I think we need a foam square. What do you guys think? There we go. So then what you can do is you can even cut these out so that they're more manageable in wherever you're storing them. So I'm just gonna cut this out. And these are all ready to go in a book. So how do I store these? Your first option is the power palette folders and you can just stick these guys right in here just like so your next option and what i do let me take these back out this is what i do move everything to the side so you can see my solution here this is the sort and stash so all of my collections are in here until I'm done with them and then they go to my scrap bin. Um, but now I can just put these guys back in here. This one was actually up here, but it's not gonna work now. So I keep all my collections together. Let's put, oh, this sticker keeps falling off its backer. Put this guy right there. I'll put this guy right here. And I'll finish my making all my embellishments because I don't like to think, you know, think about it. I would much rather somebody else smarter than me, more creative than me, puts it together in these beautiful handouts and I just copy. So project folders or the sort and stash, either way works great. And that's how I store my stuff. Okay, hope you enjoyed some copying with Mandy. Uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell so that you get notified.